Hey guys, how's it going? So welcome to part two of our um, Game Maker Studio 2 tutorial. Um, today we're going to work on movement in um, Game Maker Studio 2 uh, using the non-physics system. And so we'll go ahead and let this load and we'll open up our recent project shooter tutorial one. That's the one we worked on last time. So we have our workspace here, great. And um, we have a create event. So what this basically means is when you add an event, you can choose um, create, which is as soon as the, the object is created in the room, it happens once. We have step, which is the alternative of that, where it happens every step of the game. So if our game is 60 frames a second, every second it's going to um, check and redo whatever actions are in here. So let's do a create event first. Um, and um, let's make it center the ship to the room. So let's go ahead and open up our room. And let's move it over here, just that when we start the game, we know that if it's up there, it's not working. If it's in the center, it's working. So uh, let's go ahead and um, go back to our object. And in the create event, if you don't already have one, um, let me delete this so you can see how this works. We click on add event and hit create. Perfect. So now we want to jump to a point. We want to move it to the center of the room. So let's go ahead and um, use the movement feature uh, jump to point, which is right here, and just drag it right in. And we're going to choose um, the Y position of, say, 300. And we're going to say the X position of, uh, we want halfway uh, in the room, so we can actually get our room width and divide it by half. So let's type in room. And if we wait a little bit, we'll see it actually comes up as a suggested variable. We'll go to room width. And we don't want it to be the room width because if the room width is um, 1920, like we set it up to be, it's going to put the player at 1920, which is way to the right of the screen. We're going to divide that by half, which is half of 1920. Uh, let's go ahead and hit play and see where our character ends up. Come on, play. And we will let this load. Great, so now we're in the center of the room, but we're way up top. So we can actually change this to say a thousand. And hit play. And now it's in the center and at a more realistic position. So let's go ahead and hit close. And this is good for right now. We could actually choose 950, just because I know it's 1080, so we could put it a little bit further from the bottom. So now we have our first um, little piece of code here. Um, but we want movement. We don't want it to just um, be at the center of the room. So let's go ahead and add another event. We could use a um, key down event, uh, which would work just the same. But let's go ahead and create a step event because this happens every frame of the game, and in fast-paced games, I, I feel like I like this um, version a little better. It, it, I mean, the, the button-down event might work the same way, but I prefer it in key press. So, I mean, in step. So, um, every frame of the game, do something. So, we want to check if a key is pressed, so we can actually move down to mouse and keyboard and choose if a key is down. If a key is pressed, it'll happen once. If it's down, it'll keep checking whether it's down and continue until it's released. So let's drag this in. And we can choose which key we want to look for. We'll choose the up key in this case. And now we'll go ahead and jump to a point by using our movement, just like we did in the other section, with a few changes. So we can drag it to two places in this. We can drag it to the bottom, which will just do whatever action this is every step. Um, just like it's checking every step, or we can drag it to the right of this if statement, and it will only happen if the statement is true. Or conversely, if we hit not, if the statement is not true, but we want it to be true. So, um, so if the up uh, keyboard button is pressed down, we want to jump to a point. So the x axis we're not going to mess with, so I will choose zero. And the y-axis is what we want to modify. So I believe the y-axis being vertical up is actually a negative number. I could be wrong, but I believe it's a negative number. So we'll choose negative 15. 
just to see um, how fast or slow that is. And there's one extra step. Um, in the create event, we didn't check these boxes because we wanted it to jump to the, um, the actual room width um, or an actual position or an actual coordinate on the uh, map. But for our step event, we just want it to jump relative to where it's currently at. So if you're on the bottom, you just want it 15 steps or 15 pixels up. So let's go ahead and choose relative on both of these. And let's give our game. I press up and it's going up. Can't go back down, but it's going up. So that's good news. Now, a great trick is we can actually click on both of these by holding down control. We can copy it by hitting control C and we can paste it. And we have a second event. So let's change this to the opposite and choose down. And instead of a negative number, And when I hit up, it goes up. When I hit down, it goes down very nicely. 60 frames a second animated. Not in this video, obviously, because I'm recording at 30. But it works well. So let's do this again. And we'll choose left this time. And now we're going to change the Y back to 0. And now we want to modify the X coordinate. So if we're going left, we have to hit a negative number. We'll put negative 15. And one more time for uh, right. We'll choose right, and we'll make this a positive 15. And now when we hit play, we'll let this load back up. And now we can go in all these different directions. And when you hold up and right, it goes diagonally. When you hold down and left, it goes diagonally. Um, everything works because it's just adjusting the coordinates relative to each other so they're all able to affect the others at the same time so yep yeah, that's it and i hope you enjoy the tutorial i'll be back um, next time in part three with uh, more updates for you maybe some enemies or parallax backgrounds which i forgot to do this episode so thanks for watching have a good day peace